but to bring us a forward in exhortation tonight there is none other than my mother my mother the first lady of Harvestas International Christian Center with so much honor joy and pride can we please welcome pastor Omaomi Ijo as she gives us the exhortation thank you thank you I love you but we came here for the king of kings hallelujah how many are willing to soak it in tonight? If you have a language of the Holy Ghost, begin to open your mouth right now and just begin to soak it in. The Bible says, fan to flames the giftings of God on the inside of you. I can hear you sucking it in. Lord, all we want is you tonight. Ela da 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 ba kamanesha. Le iba ni ba koporo do bosha. Ye talabasha. Spirit of a living God. Ye pa no bo konsi de 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 bosha. Men di di bi ki di di bi di 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 bishaya. Ina makonde ende de bo konbe lege bondo do 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 bo konsi e te lege ba ye. We welcome you here. Ena da da basha leke bolo go bolo go bolo go boko sita na 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 ya do what only you can do Holy Ghost ina masha eka balaga balenda eka balaga 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 basha leke ba ye leke bolo go bolo go boko sa leke basha let our hearts be saturated with your word marinate our hearts with your word ye la da basha let the word of God gain root in our spirits. And let it find expression in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the word of God became flesh and it dwelt amongst us. Enege boro do go boko shilege bali kataya. Ora na mashande ke bala da bakoro do boko shaya. God is here, man do kopoko shilege bande. And we've not come to meet with man today, but we've come to prepare tables tonight. Ika bashe teleke teleke boro do do bosha. Varieties on the table. Whatever you want, you take it. Ila bashe ke teke bahaya. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you for what you've already started on the inside of us. Thank you for your word that has come forth. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for the diverse miracles. Thank you for the diverse testimonies. Thank you for your workings on the inside of your people. Thank you because they will never again remain the same. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm not preaching tonight. I just want to soak a little bit in you. Hallelujah. As I was praying, you know the word God gave me. I said, God, what exactly do you want to say to your people? So if you don't go away with anything from what I'm going to say, go away with this. God says it will be irreconcilable shifts. You know when you hear something, you need to take time to understand what it means. Irreconcilable shifts. Meaning that if this was where you were... No, no, no. Let me tell you exactly what God told me. I asked him when he, when he told me that. I said, what do you mean? He says, the Bible says that light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not. 
So this is darkness all over the place. The suffering, the pain, the lack, the lack of promotion, your issues, your problem, all of that is hanging in the balance and it's there chilling. And God says that light shines in darkness and darkness loses understanding. Darkness begins to wonder, ah, I was here, where am I? Meaning that where you used to be, if you look back, you will find yourself, you won't find yourself. God says that you will become, let me not use English that is not correct. They will not be able to recognize you. And you know, if people can't recognize you, it's okay. But when you yourself cannot recognize yourself, it's another level. Hallelujah. The impact, the blessing will be such that you will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blessing that completely erases the past is yours tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Irreconcilable shifts. I'm going to speak quickly about a girl in the Bible. Her name is Esther. Esther was a nobody from the backside of nowhere. Nobody knew her. The Bible says she had nothing. All she had were two things. She had an uncle and she had beauty. Praise God. An uncle and beauty. And somebody will say to me here, Pastor, Pastor Mo, I have nothing. But guess what? You see that you're nothing. That's God's specialty. God's specialty is in daily bringing, making someone from nothing to much. Hallelujah. And maybe there's someone here, you've been taking inventory of the things that you've lost. You've been taking inventory of your issues, of your problems. Guess what? God doesn't need your issues. You know what? Forget about your issues, the things that you've lost. Ask yourself, what do you have left? You lost something, but what do you have left? What you have left is enough for God to work with. What you have left is enough for God to work with. What do you have left? So you lost a hundred billion. What do you have left? You have life. The proof of life. The fact that you have life means that there is hope for tomorrow. Means that that hundred thousand that you lost, you can make it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My point tonight is open up your hearts. It doesn't matter what's gone. It doesn't matter what the issue is. You've come to meet with the Father. The one who sits in heaven and uses the earth as his footstool. Mighty God. Nobody like him. Incomparable. Matchless. So I talk about the girl real quick. She was a nobody. She had nothing. Only beauty and an uncle. Remain standing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bible says that, okay, the king needed a wife. They brought her. Uh, they chose her. Praise God. Esther was in the palace. And I'm sure a lot of us chicks here would have been envying Esther because she was in the palace. But guess what? Esther was just in the palace like an ornament. Bible records that she was in the palace 30 days. She didn't see her husband. She had no crown over her head. She was just Esther. Praise God. She used to stay in the room gisting with her girls. Praise God. Esther 4. That's where I'm reading from. You know, she just used to gist. Praise God. But something happened in the city. You know, they had proclaimed that they should kill all of the Jews. Praise God. And Esther's uncle sent for Esther and said to her that, look... You need to talk to the king about this issue. If not, they're going to wipe all of us out. Praise God. And what did Esther say? Esther said, ah, I've not seen the king go in 30 days. I cannot go to him. I can't approach him because in our kingdom, except the king stretches out for you to come forward, you can't go. And if you go, the penalty is what? Yes. Now die. How could say, eh, don't worry. You think that God sent you to the, to the, to the, to the, crank, to the, uh, uh, what's it called? To the palace, to go and lounge inside the room, Abby. He says, who knows? That scripture says, who knows? Who knows if you were in that office where they are treating you anyhow, where they've held your promotion for so long. Who knows if you're in that marriage without that child for such a time like this. I told you that God's greatest strength is where there is nothing. So that he can show himself to produce much. So that no man will take the glory for himself. Hallelujah. He says, who knows whether you are in this. In this season, in this time, in this place. Have you ever been in a place where you hunger for something? Or you are afraid or you feel fear. And that fear drives you to God. 
God uses our issues, our solutions, our circumstances to draw us close. Not necessarily God being the one who started the problem. God is a good God. Hallelujah. But whatever it is, God uses it and turns it around to favor you. Amen. Amen. Then Esther said, okay, perhaps maybe God has a plan why I'm here. Maybe God has a plan why you're here tonight. Maybe God has a plan why you're here tonight. And she said, you know what? Call all the Jews. Let them fast for me. I and my handmaiden self, we will soak it in. Amen. How many people are here that have been soaking it in? In prayer, in the word, you've been soaking it in. You've been soaking it in. She said, we'll pray. Hallelujah. Now we'll read the scripture. Go to Esther chapter 5. I'll read from... Um, I'll read from verse... Let me read from first verse. The Bible says on the third day after they had fasted, Bible says Esther dressed up in her royal clothing. Hallelujah. The dress she has not worn for 30 days. Bible says Esther dressed up. What is your own dressing? You're soaking. What is your own clothing today? You're soaking. The fact that you've come here drunk in the Holy Ghost. The fact that you've come here hungry. Hallelujah. Seeking God. It says, Esther on the third day came dressed in her royal clothing and stood in the inner courts, courtyard of the palace facing it. The king was sitting on his royal throne in the royal courtroom. Bible says, facing its entrance. The Bible says, as soon as the king saw, he didn't call her Esther. The Bible says, as soon as the king saw Queen Esther standing in the courtyard, she gained favor with him. Bible says she gained favor with him. It says the king extended the scepter in his hand toward Esther and she approached him and touched the, the tip of his scepter. And he said, what is it, Queen Esther? What do you want? <laughs> he said, the king asked her, he said, whatever you want. Tonight, whatever you want. He said, up to half of my kingdom. But that's what the king wanted to give Esther. But our own father, the king of kings, he's willing to give you the kingdom. Hallelujah. So tonight, what do you want? Bible says that Esther got what she wanted. All Esther wanted was to save the Jews. But guess what? After Esther saved the Jews, when Esther chose to come boldly to the throne of grace, hallelujah, when she came boldly to stand before her husband, to take her place, guess what? She became king. Uh, sorry, uh, she got the head of uh, Brother Haman. Amen? And secondly, she took her place on the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because it was her turn. Tonight I've come to declare to you that it is your turn. It is your turn for change. It is your time for change. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bible says come boldly into the throne of grace to receive grace and mercy in time of need hallelujah can you just lift up your mouth this morning this evening and just begin to talk to god father we come boldly to the throne of grace tonight the Bible says that you are willing, a and able, marketeke basha, to do exceedingly abundantly, far above what we can ever think or even imagine, according to the power that's at work in us. I want us to make power available tonight. Jeke teke bolo kopolo do koshita ya, yele de de bo koshita la na makosa, lendi di 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 bo koshia makasa, maka baleke bolo kosha. Yele de 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 bo kosha talaka, me power available tonight. Yele de de ba kasha na na haya, ile ke balondo, li ka balaka ba shata. Yele de 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 ba kosha, lendi li baka, maka balonko kosha na haya. Father, we thank you, and I declare over you in the name of Jesus that what God will do in your life tonight will be an irrecoverable shift. In the name of Jesus, I declare that 
those who have laughed at you will come back to laugh with you in the name of Jesus I declare that the blessing of God will rest heavy upon your life so much so that many others will eat from you in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we pray hallelujah